Wow, what's going on, everybody? We're back here for another Minecraft episode. It's a Wednesday, so you know what that means. Well, that means it's the day after Taco Tuesday. Uh, and then right before, I was going to say Thirsty Thursday, but we can't say that because we don't like alcohol. Uh, okay, let's just drink uh, grape juice. And then, I don't know, what... what Okay, who cares? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just play this. Okay, uh, okay, so I, I got some work done last night, guys. I recorded like two hours of me doing this, and uh, I know you can't tell. I didn't, I know what are you talking about, Jeff? It doesn't look like you did anything. I know, I, well, I changed some stuff. So I'm going to make a pool here, guys, okay? And uh, so what we're going to do is we got to carve out some more space here for the pool. Let's just walk right through the rose bushes. You know, you know, guys, I was thinking about this. Like, rose bushes, they kind of... It's kind of like natural barbed wire. You know what I mean? Like, it just... It's like, yeah, who wants to mess with rose bushes? All the thorns and everything, you know? So, it's... You know, if it... And it's like barbed wire, but it doesn't look like a maximum security prison. So, it, it looks nice, you know? I was thinking about that. You guys, you guys are digging my vibe on that one. I know. It's like, yeah, there you go. It's like, it's perfect. It's like roses. Uh, they look nice. And then also a little bit of security, you know? And, uh, yeah. So let's, let's, let's do, let's keep going with that. All right, we'll, we'll keep going with the roses. We, we'll get some more. Okay, I did, I, in, the, in my two-hour quest yesterday, or last night, I, uh, I got a bunch of, of, uh, white dye. And I found a bunch of flowers. And uh, if there's anyone on this planet who thinks I'm not a woman, think again. Okay, because I spent... Again, guys, I'm supposed to be building things. And then all I'm worried about is the color of the concrete that I'm going to build. Or make. Or something. A blue dye. Ooh. The question is, guys, do we want um, a, a blue flower somewhere? Or... Do we want to use the blue dye for something? Uh, well, you know what? Let's keep keep the flower. And then raw iron, we have to, uh, we will start cooking. Let's cook it up. Let's cook it up right now in the furnaces that I ruined and they're gone. Uh, okay. Uh, how about, let's, let's put a, let's, okay. Let's put the furnaces, furnace eye, furnace, what's the plural of furnaces? Fern eye or no? <laughs> no, Jeff. No. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm trying. This is uh, my third episode. Give me a break. I'll get better. Okay. Alrighty. Let's. Where's that pickaxe? Where did it go? Where did it go? Did I lose it again, or did I? No. Here it is. Okay. And then you know what? Um, no, we will. Let's. Let's. Uh, let's. We should put down a furnace. Let's just do it over here. Okay. Where's that furnace? They're all gone. Okay. That's a bummer. Let's go over here to the... Here it is. Here's all my fern eye. Here we go. Okay, let's go over here. Nice. So let's align this area with fern eye. <laughs> no, okay, enough. Enough. I'm not saying that ever again, I promise. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, coal... And ooh, what's up? Raw iron, go. And then, you know what else we need, guys? We still need to go get some gravel. That, well, I'm still way behind on. I have, all right, I have some, but not a ton. And, all right, we'll, we'll have to make some concrete. I forgot how to make it, uh, to be totally honest with you. And I think it's... You have to do something with water. I know you have to you have to build something to build the block and then you have to All right, let's see if it if it's in the presets here. Uh red dye, yeah, lime dye. We don't have that. Okay. Um Yeah. Polished granite. Cut sandstone. Uh, 
Um, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. We don't know. We're gonna have to look it up. I should have looked it up before I, uh, got on the mic. Okay, well, guys, we'll, uh, improvise. Alrighty? Okay. So, let's... Let's, um... I don't know what to do. Let me, turn, let me think. I I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let me fill in the area with stone because I I I want I want to kind of fill it in. I don't like when there's a bunch of mining holes and everything. You know. You know, guys. Oh, you guys know. You guys know. Jeff, we know all about the mining holes, and you're right. It's annoying. I know, guys. All right. Because you want to you smooth everything out, you know? Like, I'm greedy. I get everything. I always, like, you know, it's like, oh, it's, there's some coal, and then there's, you, you hit the block, and you get it, and then there's more, you find out there's more coal, so you keep going. And then, before you know it, you have a mining hole, and then you have to deal with that. And I'm doing it now, guys. Okay. Um. <laughs> Jeff, stop. Please never say the word mining hole ever again. I won't, guys. Okay. Let's just get let's just get this done and then we have to, you know what? Let's let's go ham. And not nuts. We weren't not going to go nuts. We're going to go ham. Okay? The cobblestone is going to look great. You know, it, it, and this is my security area, guys. You can't, you walk through this. You're walking through barbed wire with all the roses, you know, just blah, like you just, your shirt's all scraped up. You're, you know what I mean? It just, it's not smart to walk onto my property. It's just not. Okay. If you know, like you, you, you guys want to use the pool. Uh, well then, you know, uh, I don't know. Can you do that thing? What's the app where, uh, you, you you can have the neighbor you can rent the people's pools in their backyard. I think that's cool because I feel like I feel like getting a pool, you guys, is kinda like getting a boat. Like you think it's gonna be the best thing ever. Like, oh man, I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna become an Olympic swimmer. I'm gonna be practicing all the time. And then you get it installed, it looks nice. And then you realize it's just kind of like, like all you, and then you spend most of your time just trying to like get the leaves out of the thing. And you know what I mean? You have to get that big, long stick. It's like, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's just not worth the 30 grand to me just, just to like go fishing for like maple leaves that land in the, in the pool. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a lot of money just for that. A lot of maintenance and you don't use it that much and you don't become an Olympic swimmer. So it's like, okay, you know what? Maybe it's just not worth it. And plus the liability, like, like, like if some dog gets a lot, like if some kid comes in, like you're at fault and drowns. Like it's your fault. Well, they, but they were the ones that started swimming, but it's your fault. You had a pool. You decided to install your pool. So if they die, it's your fault. Uh, okay. So I need rose bushes. Exactly. You need barbed wire around it, but but it's like I, I built the pool to look nice. Yeah, but, but you need to protect it from the neighborhood kids because if they die and drown, it's your fault. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, whatever. I don't care. Whatever, guys. This world, I don't know. I'm, I'm done with it. The, the, the real one. The real world. Just like Matchbox 20 said 25 years ago. I'm done with the real world, okay? I want fake minecraft world and that's why i'm here oh sweet birch fence i can't do that yes i can i sure can we got to get some more wood guys fencing that's what we need where's where it is it? where is it i lost it here it is now Okay, fencing. We need fencing, guys. Okay. And we we what I want is to find stone staircase. Huzzah. Found it. 
stone staircase. It's going to be nuts, guys. Okay, it's not going to be nuts, but it's going to be pretty nuts. Pretty nuts, not nuts. Okay, I don't know what the difference is, but pretty nuts. Okay, so check this out. Okay, uh, let's do this. Staircase down to the pool. I know. Okay, so we need more stone. Yes, we do. No, hold on. We can do that, guys. I have that in spades because we have to open up this area. So look at that. Okay. This is going to be great. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it was funny. I recorded the two hour, like, episode of me doing, you know, running around trying to find flowers and dye and everything. And I, I was like, I was thinking, it was just, I don't know, it was fun, but it's like, the and then I played it back, and, the, and my microphone wasn't on, so I, I could tell, I could tell Jesus was like, hey Jeff, it was not your best. I was like, oh shoot. But I also think that I was wasting a lot of time, because I, I got lost. I like I literally lost my house. I forgot I forgot where I where this thing this compound was, and I lost. I know, so it happens. Minecraft. That's why I need a uh, a, a compass, right? You can get that and a and a map and everything. And then I don't, can you make a GPS? Can you craft a GPS? Can you do that? Or no? Okay. Well, that's too bad. Uh. Okay. So, yeah, this. Mm. So this is, this is the part that, you know, I don't know, guys, do you, is this, is this fun to watch me just pound blocks and pound stone and yeah, I guess so. I guess, I guess, guys, I, I would do it. I watch people play Minecraft. It's fun. It is fun. Yeah, it's just like hanging out with your buddies. Yeah. Playing Minecraft and walking through rose bushes. Exactly. It's exactly like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do some fencing. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so let's do, let's do some fencing. I, I wanted to get some fence in case, you know, I, I fall off. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, that, that doesn't work. That doesn't, I want to hit the undo. What's the undo button? And there is no undo button. You just have to pound it and then it breaks apart. And then, ah, oh, there goes the flower. A bummer. Well, it's okay. And, yeah, you know what? You know what, you guys? We're going to do... Rose bushes. We want some security on this side of the house as well. Okay. This is natural barbed wire. You walk into this, you're asking for trouble. Okay. You're not gonna wanna you're not gonna wanna come back to this house, that's for sure. Okay? You walk through rose bushes. Yeah, definitely not. You definitely don't want to come back to that house. Okay. So let's now we're gonna uh what i think yeah let's keep going with uh we got to get a pickaxe guys let's make another one mm, yeah okay all right more sticks more sticks here we go here we go so we got two pickaxes So this will be, I don't know, maybe a little bench area or something. Something. It'll be something. I don't know. Um, yeah, and then maybe we can wrap it around. That'd be kind of neat. We'll see. We'll do all kinds of crazy stuff, guys. I mean, not that crazy. You can't go nuts. You know, you can't do curves. I wish you could do curves in Minecraft somehow. But you can't. You can kind of fake it, like... You know, if you put enough blocks in a certain orientation, you can step back and then it, it'll have a curve. You know what I mean? Like, but it takes, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. How would you even do that? Yeah, I think the pixel, the voxels would need to be smaller to make it do curves, you know, guys? 
something like that. That's what I mean. That guy John Lynn with his uh, his project, his Minecraft project, man. It were not not it's not Minecraft, but it's like the it's a voxel engine, 3D voxel engine, and it it's pretty cool. It's like again the the voxels were smaller than Minecraft, and then because of that, you get more detail. You can kind of do more with it. But it was like constructible. The way he was doing it, it was amazing. Oh my goodness. Like, they, he made it like on his own. I couldn't believe Like he just made it in C++. With DirectX and all that. Direct 3D. I was like wow. Like he built his own game engine. I want to do that. And I might. I may. I might do it. I just might. I don't know. Build my own game. That would be nuts. I was thinking about that. Build my own game engine. I think that would be that would be fun. It's it's hard. I know it's hard, but it is really neat. I mean, b you know, believe me. I mean, I I understand that. You know, it's it's there's a lot to it, a lot of math, a lot of tech stuff that I have no idea about. Like all the shaders, like what? I don't know what that is. Shaders. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know. And then, I the 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 it's like the thing where you have to make it. There, there's some there's some equation where because like the way 3d works is you got it there's the 3d matrix which everybody if you can understand that it's just like uh 3d it's just three uh, three dimensional array essentially and then it, the positions of everything and then the computer keeps track of that and i mean it's amazing how fast it's able to do it i mean it's incredible and, and you have a high frame rate it looks everything looks smooth it's inc an incredible amount of processing but it's like it's it's basically what what, what it is is you you're just in a 3d matrix and you're in a different position and then you're you know your position and then plus you're the way you're facing and so there's like a bunch of different axes axes and the thing is is that the way it gets projected, you have to kind of project it to the screen, and then there's some math behind it because the further away things are, the closer or the smaller that they have to appear. And that's a very, you know, you have to get it right because it might not look natural. And that's the thing. It, and they do a good job. It's amazing. I mean, they've been doing this for, you know, a million years at this point but i mean it's it is still really neat 3d graphics are one, probably one of the neatest thing i mean that must have been so cool the first the first person to get it working like with with you know with a texture on whatever 3d model in a 3d space and projected to the screen on the computer i mean i was obviously it was probably super rudimentary whatever it was but it i mean must have been neat this stuff is neat. I just wish, guys, like, I don't know. I just wish computers weren't such a detriment. They're, they're, I mean, they're great. It's just they also do a lot of damage and, they lo and a lot of harm and stuff. And they make it easier for evil to succeed. That's the thing with computers. Because everything is faceless. You don't have to talk to anybody or feel bad or about anything. So you just... You keep being evil, and you keep succeeding, and you don't know how to, and then you you don't know how to feel empathy anymore. It's just so computers have kind of, in that way, computers have kind of destroyed a society. I think so. I think so. I, I know they're neat, but ask, okay, I always say this, which is, when you're on your computer, or your tablet, or your piece of technology, uh, what... I mean, honestly, how or how happy are you when you're? I mean, I okay, I'm happy right now playing this game, but I kind of I didn't really want to actually, to be honest. But when I, I was like, I don't really want to play Minecraft right now, but I did, and all right, I'm doing it, and, and good. I'm making the pool; it's gonna be great. But but the thing is, is you know what what about when you're on facebook or twitter like how happy are you no you're not you're just mindlessly kind of scrolling through everything all right i gotta get rid of all this stuff it's just in the way i want this to be uh, a deck um and you know guys i mean i 
what what do you think out there is it nah it's now you guys get it it's yeah it's just it it's they as cool as they are the evil that's perpetrated with computers i feel like i it vastly outweighs the good. I, I do believe that because you can do anything you any anything a computer can do, you can do in real life. You know, I know like okay, 3D graphics, you can't really do that in real life, but why why do you want to? It's like Minecraft. Uh how about you just go outside and grab a shovel? Go outside. It'll be the same exact thing. The only difference is is that in Minecraft, you know, you don't have to pay property taxes. That is nice. Uh, yeah, man, I'm telling you guys, if, if I ever start a new planet, there will be no property taxes. Like, just none. Just none. You, you, why do you have to keep paying the government? Do they come and mow your lawn for you? No, they don't. They don't do anything. So why are you paying property taxes? You paid for property taxes when you bought the place. All right, whatever. I'm not mad. You guys always think I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm just kind of mad. Okay, sort of mad. All right, whatever. All right, but the point is, uh, I would say that computers, and I love them too. Like, I, this is coming from a place of love. Like, I mean, I love computers and all the work everyone's done. Because that's the thing, guys. It's like, you know what? You, you, the, the guys who built the computers and did all the, you know what I mean? Like, all the protocols and all the RFC. I don't even know what RFC stands for, but all I know is that it's some kind of, like, spec sheet for some kind of whatever it is for coding or whatever. I don't know what it is. But it's you guys that invented that stuff. See, you guys are the heroes. The people who take what you did and then they, you know, let's say they go on offer up and then, you know, pretend that they have a laptop for you and then you, you send them the money, then they never send you the, the laptop. 600 bucks out the drain down the drain uh whatever out the drain <laughs> yeah it is what i mean it's like that's what's that's what we actually end up doing with the tech that that that's what we end up doing with it it's just figuring out figuring out more ways to to hurt each other and steal from each other and harm each other in other ways and then it, the best part is we don't have to see the face like Louis C.K. said this. He was he was on somewhere. He, he said this. He was like he was on some talk show and he was like the problem with tech technology is like you don't you never see the negative reaction of the person. Um so you never need to feel bad. You never feel you never need to feel empathy or or you know you you see what I'm saying? So the the people who use technology in order to commit evil are it's kind of a new it's like it's a it's a it's low it's pretty low because you guys are it's like easy it, that's what i mean guys with this evil thing evil uh they're they're not huge on like doing what is hard you you, you know they're just not huge on it and 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 it that's why they're evil because it, it's they only want what is easy and they kind of figured it out that well wait a minute why do I why should I work hard or do anything that requires concerted effort when all I have to do is just kind of sit in the background and then wait for wait wait for someone who I perceive as weak to come around and then I get to win easily like it's you, you know what I mean? It's just a weird way to go through life. I wouldn't, you know, but people do and they're, okay, okay. Uh, it's just a waste. It's a waste of your life doing that. You know, there's a lot of people like that. Too many. Uh, I know I know a couple of them. I'm working with some right now. They're a pain. They're really annoying. But, hey, you know what? You just keep, you keep praying, you guys, and these, you know, the people don't have a chance. These people don't have a chance. They think they do because they think they're smart. They they are smart. It's just they they aren't using their intelligence in a positive way. That these people that that's I'm not gonna say they're not smart. They are, of course they are. Okay, but they're but they're using their intelligence for laziness to be lazy and in, in instant gratification and whatever's easy. Like it, 
Don't they want? Don't they want to do more than what's easy? Or y you know what I mean, it, guys? No, Jeff. We love being evil because it's fun. And okay, that's the point. We're children. Okay, guys. Fine. You are. You're children. Yes, Jeff. We are. Okay. Okay. See, they're just admitting it now, guys. They're so sick of me. They're just admit. They're just like they. I've exposed them. Or I didn't, but my great grandmother did in Jesus. And they just, they're just owning it now. That's right, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's great. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine or something. I don't know what it is, but I don't care. I'm just going to keep pounding blocks. All right. Uh, here we go. We're, we're almost done. Uh, there goes my pickaxe. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Coming together great, guys. And I we got to get that bucket going. We got to use some of that. I forget how to do it, but we'll we'll figure it out, guys. It's not rocket science. This game is for children. We'll figure it out, okay? Uh, let's do that. Great. There we go. And where's my crafting table? Let's go find that. Oh, that's right. I'm holding it. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, let's turn around and put it here. Great. Uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah. Wow, guys, that looks mediocre. I was going to say great. No, but it looks mediocre. It's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, good. Okay. And then, let's see. Uh, so this will be a pool area. And by the way, guys, this bothers me how this is cobblestone and this isn't. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know me and my OCD. Let's go. Let's fix it right now. Okay, and actually, I'm thinking, um, this might be a good opportunity to, to go ham with the concrete. Now, um, oh, no, that's cool. I like this. Let's do this. This is kind of the infinity pool-esque almost, sort of. Oh, great. Now I can't get the... Oh, shoot. Okay. Then we gotta do this. See, I was gonna... Well, that's a bummer, you guys. I was gonna uh, keep it smooth stone. But you know what? You know what we can do? Is... Watch this. If we want to make some smooth stone, watch this. Oh, cool. Okay, here's my iron. Grab that. Watch this guy. Smooth stone coming right up. You just you just cook cobblestone again, and it makes it smooth. Watch this. And then back to the smooth rock. Boom. Look at that. I know. It's pretty neat, but it's kind of a it's it takes a long time. It's like not high yield. You know what I mean? It's one to one. You only get one cobblestone. Or one stone block from a cobblestone. So let's let's not put too much time or stock into this, but it will be good if we ever need to do this again. So let's let's do it. All right. So fifty one blocks and the stone. Boom. Look at that. Nice, guys, huh? Real nice. And we're going to have to... Oh, let's go grab all this stuff. Now... Guys and gals, we're going to do some landscaping. Okay. So we need some dirt, of course. Step one, get the dirt. Okay. We're going to fill it in here. And you know what? This is going to be nuts. 
but I think we, how do we do this? Is it, do, do we, because what I want to do is kind of, I want to make a hydroponic system, guys, you know, and uh, basically make it so that, because I forget what happens, but you, you put water in the area next to whatever you're planting, and then somehow it, all right, let's do that right now. Hold on. I'm going to go get some water, guys. We're going to test the uh, the bucket. Watch this. Okay, where's my bucket? Here it is. Okay, so let's go to a water source. And I'll tell you what. Let's let's not uh, let's not get let's not get burned again. Okay, let's make a beacon. We're going to make. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this right, guys. Okay, so we're going to make it so we don't get lost because well, you know me, everybody. I get lost. Okay. This is why I'm addicted to the GPS guys in my car, and I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, I know. All right, whatever. Um, I'm not embarrassed, I promise. Okay, so, well, that looks terrible, but let's, we'll do something else later, but here. Okay, so, there we go. Yeah. Great. Looks great. No, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look good at all. But I'll try to make it look good better later. All right. Uh, so we'll do. We'll get some water here. All right. So let's put some fencing around it. Actually, first. Okay. We love our fencing, guys. I'm a fence kind of guy. Not a fence sitter. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. But I do love my fencing. Okay. No, definitely not. That's the one thing I'm not is a fence sitter. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, everyone, yeah, you guys are laughing, thank you, thank you, uh, no, I know, I'm, I'm a very polarizing figure out there, yes, I am, I'm like the opposite of a fence sitter, <laughs> but that's okay, uh, okay, everything's looking, I mean, alright, it's, it's something, I don't know what I'm doing, guys, I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of putting something together, I don't know, I don't know, it'll, it'll work out, it'll look good, okay, so, yeah, we're going to get water. Let's go. And yeah, okay. Well, you know what? You know what, guys and gals? I'm just going to do this. Okay? I'm just going to do this with some super high, like, beacon. Just so I know. I don't want to get lost again. All right, I'm going to fall, and I'm going to try. I'm going to break my legs. Okay. No, I'm good. All right, so we'll look for that thing, and we won't get lost. Okay, so water <laughs> it's right here. I, did, I wasn't going to get lost. Okay, wow. <laughs> no, nah, that's good. Okay, so here we go. So that's how you do it. You get water, and then you uh, go back to your house. And it it's like unrealistic because it it this one little bucket fills up an entire pool, like like that doesn't make any like like it makes no sense. But okay, whatever. Uh, so let's go, let's go back and get more because we got to fill up the pool. All right, and uh, sheep, 